When doing a team project in Scratch, it's important to be able to collaborate. Since you cannot go into each other's accounts, and there is a possibility that someone might be absent one day, I want to show you how to easily collaborate on the same project. So the first thing that's important is to press the gray share button in the upper right. Okay, if you see an exclamation point here, that's because you have an unverified account. So click the button, see what email address it's connected to, and um, resend the confirmation to that email or change it to another email address that you can access. Um, if your share button does not have an exclamation point, you should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the share button. So now this is a public game and other people will be able to access it including my partners. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the upper right to the folder icon, which is where my stuff is housed. And in the upper right there are two buttons, one for a new project, one for a new studio. I'm going to create a new studio for my team. When I hit new studio, I can give it a name. So I might call it period 2B group 15, or you could call it what you want. This is just an example. Um, and this is where you're going to add the project that you all want to have access to. So I'm going to press where it says add project. And down at the bottom, there should be one of my saved projects that we're going to collaborate on. So I'm going to press add. Um, as you go, you can do different remixes and different versions of that same game and add them here. Um, but the next step is to go under curators and add your other teammates. So if you press the invite curators button and put in the usernames of the other people, um, you can add them to be able to manage this same um, studio with you. So the nice thing is, um, if you happen to be absent, let's say you get the flu for a week, your partners can still come into this studio, get to the, the file that really was underneath your account, and then what they can do is make a remix of it. So if they go to see inside, um, there's going to be a yellow button up here if this is not their project that's going to say remix. That's going to copy the file to their account so that they can continue working on it even if you're not there. To get to the studios um, later on, you're going to go to the upper right where the folder icon is. Go to your stuff. And initially, um, what comes up is just the projects that you have, but you want to be able to get back to your studio. So on the left-hand side here, you're going to choose My Studios, and that's where you should be able to find um, the studio that you're a part of. And hopefully the most recent version of your project is here. If you've created a remix from this, make sure that you add your remix to... Um, this studio so that you always have the newest version of whatever the program is. One other recommendation I might have in order to keep track of the most recent project is to, um, in your title for the project, at least until you're done and you're turning it in, um, put the latest date um, in front of your title so that in your studio you can see which one was worked on last. So every time that you make any changes, update it to the most recent date so that you know which version is um, the most recent.